Hi, welcome to Full Stack Web Development with the Laravel and Vue.js course, the best and complete online resource for learning Full Stack Web apps with the Laravel, Vue.js, Bootstrap, and other technologies. My name is Edding Muhammad Saprudin. I am a Full Stack Web Developer with more a decade of programming experience. Now, without further ado, I want to give you a quick overview of what project that we're going to build in this course and what exactly you're going to learn. So this is the main project that we're going to build throughout the course. I call it Laravel QA, a single page application or SPA that is inspired by Stack Overflow. In the front page, we'll have a list of questions. If we scroll down, there are simple pagination that allows us to navigate to previous or next page. If we hit the older button, it'll bring us to the next page. So as you can see, the URL changes well, we hit the button without need to reload the page. Once we reach the first or last page, the button is going to be inactive. To create a new question, we can hit this Ask Question button. It'll text us to Ask Question page. In this page, we can enter the question title and question body, then hit the Save button. The question will be saved into database, and it brings us back to All Questions page. If we hit a single question, it'll take us to questions detail. This page contains questions along with related answers. If we hit the load more answers button, more answers will be get loaded. You can answer to certain question in this form. You'll write in markdown syntax and you'll also able to preview your question before actually hit the submit button. Now the current user is logged in can also see all questions and answers that have been created by accessing this link. In this page, they can see both questions and answers, only questions, or answers. So that's the project that we're gonna build in this course. Now let's see how this course is structured. We start with section 2, where we're gonna set up our project and start building our first CRUD for managing questions of our Laravel QA app. You'll also learn some Laravel features such as database migration, database seeds, model factories, accessor emulators, form validation, authentication, and authorization. In section 3, we're gonna build our second CRUD for managing answers and learn some techniques such as a lock-on relationship, lock-on event, integrating phone awesome 5, utilizing Laravel mix to write and compile such code and JavaScript code, and much more. In section 4, we are going to build a vote control system including favoriting the question, accepting answer as best answer, voting up or voting down the question and answer. In this section, you will learn some techniques such as implementing many-to-many -many relationship, many-to-many -many polymorphic relationship, and much more. After that, in section 5, you will learn how to refactor the code and implementing dry principle to make your code much cleaner and easy to maintenance. In section 6, we are going to integrate Vue.js into our application and make it more interactive. In section 7, you'll learn how to build a component that allows you to write markdown syntax and see how that looks before you actually save it into your database. You'll also learn how to integrate Prism.js to make your code pretty. In section 8, You'll learn about RESTful API development. You'll learn how to create API endpoints and test them in Postman REST client. And finally, in the last section, you'll learn how to build SPA or single page application with Vue and Vue Router and consume APIs that you have built in the previous section. Now, I also provide appendix sections as additional references to help you understand a certain topic that's still related to this course. So, for example, if you are a Vue.js newcomer, then you can go to Vue.js Fundamental first after finishing section 5 and before continuing to section 6. In this section, you'll learn Vue.js basic such as writing hello world with Vue.js, list rendering, conditional rendering, class binding, computed property, and much more. Then in upgrading Laravel app section, you'll see how to upgrade your Laravel app to make it up to date. Then if you want to deploy your Laravel app then you can see how to do that in Deploying Laravel App in Heroku or Deploying Laravel App in DigitalOcean section. Alright, 
So that is a broad overview of the project that we're gonna build and the core structure. Now, in all lessons, I always do my best to explain every bit of syntax step by step to make sure that you understand exactly what you're building. I also provide Git repository with the different branches for entire course lessons, so that you can see the course lesson and compare with yours just in case you run into error and need fixing it. And if you still get stuck, then you can go to UDP QA section and you can check out if other students may have asked the same question with yours. If not found, then you can post your own question and I'll do my best to give you friendly support. Alright, let's get started.